Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. I don't know how to break this to you. Yeah. But I don't think we can have sex anymore. I, those are the words I've been hoping you'd say. Yeah. Uh, I read this story about a woman who almost died from an allergic reaction after sex with her husband. So I'm not sure it's safe. I'm willing to, yeah, let's just end this. All right, fine. Yeah. But in case you had another idea, okay. the second story today, yeah. a Russian man sues Apple claiming that his iPhone made him gay. That's crazy. It is crazy. That's Philly. <laughs> We're going to talk about it, both those stories, on the next Men Are So Smart. Man, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> really <laughs> awkward, huh? Yeah. Hello, America, and welcome once again to Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ryan. And on today's show, we have a duo of stories to share with you. The first of which... They're hard-hitting. Uh, that's what we do here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we got our finger right on the pulse. Uh, the first story today, a woman nearly died from an allergic reaction after having sex with her husband. A 46-year-old woman from Baltimore, Maryland, suffered an anaphylactic reaction to a medication her husband was taking uh, through exposure to his semen. His semen. His baby batter. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Um, the report titled, Almost Killed by Love, A Cors Cautionary Coital Tale. She said complained, she complained of dizziness, diarrhea, itchy hands and feet, severe sweating shortly afterwards. You know, most of the women that I have sex pretty with much, complain that's about those things. Pretty common denominator, yeah. I think. Uh, -huh. uh The woman went to uh, doctors and initially believed she was suffering from sepsis. Oh, yeah. That's due to, awesome. With, due to low uh, blood pressure. And she was put on an IV drip and given various antibiotics. Mm -hmm. However... Further tests revealed she was suffering from anaphylactic shock. It was found that her husband had been treating a bacterial infection with a dose of antibiotic called nafcillin, which obviously contains penicillin. Mm -hmm. The woman had a history of penicillin allergies since she was a child oh. and said she had not been exposed to penicillin since then. Yeah, uh, The authors of the story said the, they believe the woman was exposed to Nafacillin concentrated in the seminal fluid. After her blood pressure normalized and her symptoms improved, the woman was discharged with the hospital with an EpiPen. Oh, so yeah. every time she has sex, she has to use the EpiPen, apparently. Wow. That's, I wonder how many times a week they do it. <laughs> dang. Because those EpiPens are not cheap. That's what I mean. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. I have a question at this point. Okay. I am taking questions from the audience. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, you, thank you for yes. thank you for taking my question. Yes. Did this woman get this infection through fornication, hmm. or did she ingest it? Oh, I see where you're going. Yeah. She was instructed to abstain from sexual intercourse hmm. with her husband until at least one week after he completed his course of antibiotics. I would just say, I'm done then. I'm done taking them. No more sex. <laughs> uh, we have reported a case of an anaphylactic reaction to nafcillin in a penicillin allergenic patient via vaginal exposure to the antibiotic contained within her partner's semen. While they were unable to obtain a specimen from the patient's husband, to confirm detectable levels of nafcillin in her partner's semen. Boy, this is a difficult paragraph. It's very semen heavy. It is a little. <laughs> I'm leaning towards the semen is what I'm doing. The patient's, <laughs> the patient's clinical presentation, coupled with the onset of symptoms post-coitus, 
leads us to believe she was exposed to nafcillin concentrated in the seminal fluid. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's safe to say that if your significant other or sexual partner is taking any type of medication, maybe... You should abstain. Yeah, you know, or at least consult a doctor first and see if it is something that can be, you know, passed along to your partner. Well, she must have known that A, she was allergic, and B, that he was taking a penicillin-based uh, medication. But you wouldn't think that you could be exposed in that way. Oh, I'm sure if they had commercials for nafcillin... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be one of the little, yeah. Uh, yeah, one of the little reminders at the end. If you develop infection due to coitus. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, yeah. they said it was the third time such an adverse reaction was documented in a medical journal. The authors advised those writing prescriptions to take into account the hazards of allergic reactions and adverse side effects, not only for the patient, but also the patient's family. Okay. What if you have a peanut butter allergy you shouldn't be putting peanut butter on your penis well i'm just throwing what? that out there ron unless you're lonely and you have a dog disgusting but more interesting oh yes because <laughs> dogs go. dogs will lick peanut butter off pretty much anything you, you <laughs> sound as if you speak from experience and i'm concerned again <laughs> awkward and uncomfortable <laughs> It's one of my favorite lines from a movie that I've watched, but I'll uh, I'll just leave it at that. I'll take full credit for All it. All right. So if you think that story was odd... You got a better one? Wait till you hear this one. Oh, I'm all ears. A Russian man sues Apple, claiming that his iPhone made him gay. Yes. It's possible, apparently. Apple is certainly no stranger to frivolous lawsuits, but the latest suit targeting the company really sets a new standard for absurdity. I can't wait to hear this. According to a report from Newsweek, a Russian man is suing Apple on the allegation that an app he downloaded turned him gay. Hmm. Mm. The story originally surfaced via the Moscow Times, which I have a subscription to. My subscription ended. Oh, he did? Yeah. And that's too bad. You know yeah. what? You can have mine when I'm done. All right, curl. It yep. replays that a man known as D. Razumilov downloaded an obscure cryptocurrency app called Gay Coins to his iPhone in 2017. I still don't understand. <laughs> While on the app, as the lawsuit reads, I'd love to be on that jury. <laughs> yeah. He received an anonymous message urging him to have an open mind towards having relations with another man. Okay. And so Razumilov eventually did that. Hmm. Years later, he now finds himself in a committed relationship with another man. And I'm not laughing at that. <sighs> what I'm laughing at is R Russia's view on uh, homosexuality and, 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 and that in general, LGBT. Not as tolerant no. as the United States. Oh, hell, you could lose body parts for that over yeah. there, I'd imagine. Yeah. So, yeah, he decided to become gay, which I thought you were born that way. I'm, I'm just glad he didn't download an app that had to do with farm animals or something. That's a good point, Ron. That could have been a lot worse. Yes, it could have been. Yep. So this man said, I can say after the passage of two months that I am mired in intimacy with a member of my own sex and can't get out. Can't get out, you say? Yeah, that's what the complaint reads. Okay. He goes on to say, I have a steady boyfriend and I don't know how to explain it to my parents. Wow. After receiving the aforementioned message, my life has changed for the worse and will never be normal again. Apple Write me a check for several billion dollars. Or maybe just a bazillion. We interrupt this program to annoy you. Why would they? Seriously. Why would they give him any money? Yeah. Um, You'd think they just want to give him a dollar and go, you know what? We paid that off. <laughs> it says here that he's suing for $15,000, Ronnie. That seems reasonable. That's the price of being gay in, America, in Russia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seems like a, just write him a check, Apple. Yeah, shut him up. Yeah. 
uh, in a wild lawsuit to be sure, but certainly helps highlight how far behind the time, here we go, how far uh, in behind the times of Russia is with respect to LGBT rights when a man is so embarrassed about his own sexuality that he feels compelled to blame a smartphone app and sue Apple. Indeed, Russia has for some time been one of the least gay-friendly countries when it comes to the treatment of individuals in the LGBT community. You know what? I say embrace it. We have, boy, California is kind of, especially like the San Francisco area, is known for uh, alternative lifestyle relationships. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what? I don't have any issue with it. I don't have a single problem with it. We we went to a uh, a cop school one time down in San Jose, and about eight of us uh, from all sorts of different agencies were looking for a bar after class, and we stumbled into a gay bar. It was perfectly fine. Sure. They didn't tell us, hey, you guys are too straight, get out of here. Or if you come in here, you're going to turn gay. <laughs> and we didn't, not to are the best you? of my knowledge. Okay, I, all right. I didn't. All right. Uh, not that I would judge. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Russia probably just needs to take a step back and embrace their gay community, much like, God, Sacramento has that whole... Uh, I forget what they call it, the Paisley District or something. I've never heard of that. Downtown. Uh, it's very, uh, very eclectic. It's, it's a cool little district. They have like, uh, I think that's the area where they do the sidewalk uh, art once a year. It's a, it's a very cool little Is that area. the chalk? Yes. Oh, yeah, chalk yeah, it yeah, up. yeah. It's called yeah. Chalk It Up. That's right. Fact. I remember yeah. that now. So, dude, don't fight it. It's There's nothing. It is what it is. Your heart tells you what to do right and if your heart told you to love someone of your same sex that's what you got to do uh, will it last i don't know is it a passing phase we kind of see that with miley cyrus today oh yeah uh just kind of depends on which way the wind blows with her evidently yeah how about this story we'll wrap up with tonight the monumental feat of not-so-modern engineering known as the turducken is just as mouth-watering as it is terrifying. But what if you could get all the sodium-saturated deliciousness without a laborious cooking process and with a satisfying crunch to boot? That's the philosophy behind turducken Pringles. Uh, if you're wondering who would design or dean to offend the gravy gods by purchasing yeah. such a kit? The answer apparently is just about everybody. According to Newsweek, there was such a plentiful bounty of online orders when a $16 kit launched yesterday that it sold out immediately and also crashed the site. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. uh, we un underestimated your hunger for our friends giving <laughs> feast the company wrote in an Instagram post, our website is experiencing heavy traffic and we're doing everything we can to get it back up and running. This, if you're wondering what we're talking about, Pringles will now offer for Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving, as what's being called, a turducken chip. Disgusting! But more interesting. Oh yes! I think I have to have those. They're not available in Sacramento, as oh, I understand. Oh, man. Um, and they're part of Pringles' Friendsgiving Feast Kit, which also includes other classic Thanksgiving flavors, like cranberry sauce, stuffing, mm -hmm. and Pringles with a pumpkin pie flavor. That sounds delightful. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. I'm not big on the pumpkin pie. The comments on the post revealed just how tantalizingly close some prospective customers got to tasting the holy trinity of foul-flavored chips. I love that. The site also allowed some people to place the kit in their carts, but shut down as soon as they tried to complete ah, the purchase. That sounds like a scam. So close. I know, but so far away. Would have had it, too, if it wasn't for those crazy kids. 
Since then, several new eBay listings for Friendsgiving kits have appeared with offers starting around 100 bucks. Of course they have. If you're not willing to shell out the big ducks for the full feast... Oh, I get that. You can settle for a sleeve of Pringles roasted turkey chips, which are hitting shells now uh, just in time for Thanksgiving and for a limited time only. I'm going to look those up. Here's some pictures of them I'm right not, there. I'm not paying 100 bucks for them, though. No. They Roasted turkey, should Pringles. Be about three, four bucks, maybe at the most. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so there you have it. You're up to date. Uh, men are so smart at the forefront of bringing you the utmost in breaking news. The cutting edge of Pringles flavors. We can't take all the credit. We're just smart. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not our fault. Can't help it. In fact, you know, it's, we got uh, beauty and smarts. Right. That's pretty rare. Especially in a YouTube show. The whole package. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching today. We truly do appreciate it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. See you on the next Men Are So Smart. adjustment to your set is necessary. It's not a freaking test. All right. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to go there, <laughs> did you? I don't even know how I did. Hello, America. Please stand by. <laughs>